Hello everyone. So today I'm going to do a review of the hex clad skillet. So I waited about six months to, to do the review. I wanted to really use it on a daily basis before doing the review. I think most of these nonstick pens, they're phenomenal right out of the box. So a lot of the reviews you see is the unboxing and then the testing and all the tests um, pass with flying colors. But I really wanted to use it as I would in my kitchen for several months and seeing how the nonstick surface held up. So this is about six months of daily use. You can see that you know, along the edges and in certain parts of the pan, there is some discoloring uh, that was expected. It's noted by hex clad and uh, really hasn't bothered me. It hasn't affected the performance, but starting out right now, I'll go through a few different tests so you can see what the nonstick capabilities are after several months of use. So let's get this started. I'm gonna do medium, medium high heat. A little bit of avocado oil here. And I'm gonna make two eggs muddled with some cheese. That's my son's favorite breakfast, but also gives you a good opportunity to see what the non-stick capabilities are. Heat up for another second there. Just gonna crack the two eggs directly in, lay on some cheese, and muddle it up. You can see it did leave some residue. Doesn't slide right out, but very easy to clean. So not quite magical. Um, the the non-stick non skillet I was using before this was the Happy Call brand, and that was super, super slick non-stick. Something like this, I probably could have just dumped it out and it would have slid out clean with no residue left. Um, but that one was super delicate too, right? The surface, you couldn't use hard utensils on it. You couldn't use, uh, you couldn't wash it with uh, like a scrubby pad. You really needed to be very gentle with it. One thing I did like about this so far is that I can use spoons, metal spoons, metal utensils in it. Uh, I can be pretty rough with it when cleaning. Um, it is, again, not as nonstick as some of those other super nonstick pans, but with that comes the durability. And uh, let me get this out to my son and then we'll see how easily that cleans up. All right, let's see how stuck on this stuff is. Um, start with just a wipe with a paper towel. Medium pressure here. And you can see most of the eggs that's stuck on comes off pretty easily. You know, I have a couple of stubborn spots here, but definitely easier to clean than stainless. And uh, let's see how the rest of it comes off under some running water. So there you go, super easy to clean, though not as super non-stick as the Happy Call was. You can see that very easy to clean up, even with something as sticky as melted cheese and the eggs usually are. And uh, so I'll do a couple more tests and I'll kind of give my overall impressions at the end. All right, here we go, part two of the test. Going with eggs again, because if eggs don't stick, then nothing else will. 
So the first one was that that muddled cheese you guys just saw. This one is actually one that I've kind of always had a challenge with cooking successfully on the hexclad are over easy eggs. They're not quite non-stick enough for me to consistently get that flip without breaking the yolk. And uh, let's see how it goes now. A little bit of oil, that's actually a little bit more than I usually use. But definitely can't do over easy eggs with the hexclad with no oil. Um, you know, I keep talking about the happy call, it's the, the last set that I had. With the happy call, I could do over easy eggs with literally zero oil. Um, that's definitely impossible with this set, but with this amount of oil, I get it sometimes, not all the time. Let's see how it goes today. Right here goes. And you can see it doesn't kind of slide right under. You have to go around all edges and get some separation. So not easy, able to easily get under. You can see a little bit of get stuck, and that's what's preventing me from getting that smooth flip. Nope, this one does not look like it's gonna go great. At least I didn't pop the yolk, but you can see that's not a very pretty over easy egg there. And sometimes I have to kind of err on the side of it being closer to over medium, just to make sure I don't pop the yolk as I'm trying to remove them from the pan. Yeah. Let that one free. All right, so got one successful. And one, I, you know, not a complete failure. The yolk is intact, but definitely wouldn't call that a successful over easy. And you see this here looks bad, but actually does come off pretty easily. So cleanup is for sure a cinch on these. All right, now I'll come right off. All right, for the last demo, we're gonna do some burgers. Good bit of fat in that. Not so much because it needs it, but it tastes good. Nice and easy, nothing stuck. So for meats and, and anything that's pretty greasy, you know, as you as expected, no issues. Uh, and you'll see where, where it excels is really the cleanup. And let's throw some cheese on there as well. One, because it's delicious. Two, let's make as sticky of a mess as we can.
definitely got some gunk in there. Let's see how it easily cleans up. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna throw another fried egg in there because I love eggs in my burger. demonstrate kind of what I do love about these is being able to use a metal spoon I do this a lot when I'm cooking steaks and stuff. Got some crusty cheese bits on there. They look kind of burnt. <laughs> I hope I didn't just mess up my burger, but we'll see. Honestly, I don't know if I'd recommend cooking an egg like that. That's going to be one greasy egg. easily extracted. All right, so I'm gonna go have dinner now. I'm gonna let this cool down and I'll show you what cleanup looks like. Greasy egg. All right, so I'll clean this mess up real quick so you can see what that looks like and I will give my you know, final verdict on whether or not the hex clad is worth it. See, giving it a nice spray down gets most of the gunk off. There's a few little spots like this that'll come off just with my hand. And that's it. Nice and clean. Still got a little bit of oil on it. I like to leave that, keeps the keeps it kind of seasoned, helps with the nonstick a little bit. Uh, every once in a while, if it gets a little gunky and you see like this buildup gets worse here, I use the actual scrubby side of the sponge. So if I want to do a deep cleaning, I do use the rough side again of the sponge and it doesn't damage it at all as you saw with the spoons uh, with the metal spoon and all that no damage no scratches at all so I do regularly use a spoon on this I've actually used a knife in the pan to divide something and you can see that there are no scratches so it is a very durable finish and more durable than any non-stick finish I've seen so my you know, verdict on whether or not the hex clad is worth it. If you're used to using stainless steel or carbon steel cookware, and you're just tired of the cleaning, you wish it was a little easier to clean, then this is absolutely the right pan for you. You're gonna love it, it's worth the money. If you're looking to transition into stainless but a little concerned about it, you'd like to start using metal utensils and all the flexibility that comes with that, being able to maybe reverse sear a steak, you know, throw a steak on the pan in the oven, take it out, put it right on the burner for a sear or, or vice versa searing and then putting it in the oven. Uh, again, concerned about cleanup, this is the pan for you, super easy. If you're used to using these super non-stick pans like the Happy Call or the Granite Rock and you're used to being very careful with the surface, using only wooden or plastic utensils and you're looking for that next super non-stick pan, 
this is not it. You'll definitely be disappointed if that's what you're looking for. Uh, on the happy call, I could throw some cheese on it, let it melt, burn into like a little crispy cheese cracker, and it'll come right off, no problem. Uh, it will not do that with this. And as you saw with the demos I did earlier with the eggs, um, not the greatest with over easy eggs. Uh, you do get that residue. It doesn't slide around. You can't, you know, take it and like blow and the egg floats up like you see on some of the infomercials. So this is not the pen for that. So again, if you if you like the flexibility of it being oven proof, being able to use metal utensils, um, this is the pen for you. Super easy cleanup compared to stainless and cast iron uh, or carbon steel but it does not provide the non-stick um, kind of super non-stick capabilities that you would find in some of the other ones out there. Um, part of that also has to do with this texture on it. You can, you can kind of hear as I run my fingernails across it, it's textured and you can see it too. And so that texture keeps it from just kind of gliding off the surface, um, but that's also what makes it durable. So again, that's my thoughts on the hex clad. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I have my happy call still that I'll probably continue to use when I use eggs, when I cook eggs rather, but for any other cooking, this as well as the wok have uh, treated me very well. So I use both of these pretty much every night. This for stir fry, sauteing vegetables, things like that. Uh, so I am very happy with it. But again, if you're expecting super non-stick qualities, not what you're looking for. Thanks for watching.